Here at RPM, we've got respect for the Renault Colios. We drove it on its launch in Morocco in 2008 and we had one as a long-term test car. We were impressed with its real-world drivability and that includes at least one episode of some unexpected and pretty daunting off-roading. For the 2012 update, Renault have decided that less is more. Which in marketing speak usually means less for the same money. As far as the car itself goes, Renault haven't reduced any of its capability or its practicality, but there have been some adjustments to the model lineup. With midlife upgrades come the usual styling changes, but again, the company has restrained itself when restyling their SUV. The front end of the original Colios was a bit bulbous and a bit incongruous. Now it's a lot sleeker. The headlights have been pared back, so the car looks a lot less like a cat whose head's about to explode. Other new design elements include a chrome grille and a redesigned front bumper, and that's about it. A major improvement in the car's looks has resulted from that one change, probably because from a styling point of view, the front was a little odd. The rear remains the same with its very non-generic taillight clusters and the overall impression is of a much more together looking thing. Unless you were intimately familiar with the old interior or you'd read the sales brochure, you wouldn't necessarily spot what's new in here. The big changes amount to basically one thing, a new instrument cluster. Other minor changes include a sat nav screen with better resolution and some new upholstery options. But the lack of a complete redesign isn't necessarily a bad thing. The Colios has always been fairly user-friendly, so a major overhaul of the layout wasn't exactly necessary. If anything, Renault, and every other French manufacturer, needs to re-look at the car-driver interface. The TomTom sat-nav bits are okay because, well, they were designed by TomTom, but things like the Bluetooth and iPod menu operation are a little confusing and should be redesigned. Unlike the interior, which as it is, remains comfortable with good space all round. Our test car is fitted with a 2.5 litre petrol with 126 kilowatts and 226 newton meters. It's available as a 4x2 or a 4x4 and depending on that choice, you get either a 6 speed manual gearbox or you could choose a CVT. We drove a 4x4 manual for that wet and miserable day in Meisner, although the 4x2 would be a completely viable option for a city dwelling Kolios. We can say that with a measure of confidence because the four wheel drive system on our test car only sends power to the rear when more grip is required, which means it's effectively a front wheel drive on tar and it has a habit of feeling perfectly composed. When you do hit the dirt, the system will automatically shift torque to the rear or you can lock it in all wheel drive mode. The 2.5 petrol feels about as good as you'd expect. It's got good response, it's nice and smooth, and it does a good job of shifting the SUV bulk of the Colios. But there's nothing really surprising about it. In fact, the only thing that is surprising about it is the fact that it's the only one available. Part of that less is more approach. The Colios range now consists entirely of just one engine and one spec level, your only real choices being between front or all-wheel drive and two gearboxes. One of the best things about the Colios is how it very quietly builds your confidence behind the wheel. The driving position is spot on, the steering feels good, and the ride setup, more than being comfortable, just always feels capable, even if you do put it in some less than everyday driving conditions. And that rattle in the background there wasn't a loose bit of trim, by the way. It was an errant piece of camera gear. Pricing for the Colios starts at 290,000 Rand for the 4x2 manual. Our test car sits in the middle of what little range there is, at 315,000 Rand for the 4x4 manual. The 4x4 CVT costs 340,000 Rand. The updated Renault Colios has had a few minor tweaks and a bit of a paring down. Some people might complain about the lack of a diesel option, but the fact of the matter is, even under petrol power alone, this package is as good as it ever was. So, your engine options might be limited, but the Colios itself isn't.
A four-cylinder petrol engine is now the only choice, but delivers ample zest while you can opt for either two- or four-wheel drive. The manual box is much better than the optional CVT, though. The result is a capable off-roader that takes most conditions in its stride with ease. The sleeker styling adds further appeal, but the lack of a diesel in this segment is puzzling.